Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of the radio, and today, we're actually looking at coughing, not wheezing, although blatantly a very large part of this video is going to be spent looking at wheezing cards, but what we're actually doing is we're looking at coughing. There's a new coughing been revealed from Shiny Star V, and like we've been seeing with a lot of these shiny cards so far, they are actual genuine new cards, which is weird, but awesome. Now, our translation comes from the lovely Antoine Boulet, and the basics here are largely uninspiring. 60 HP is very low. Way too many things do 60 damage nowadays. We got a retreat cost of 1, which at least does mean we can use U-turn board for free retreat, so that's quite nice. And we've got a weakness to fighting, and weakness to fighting is not great. I mean, my boy Excadrill is just mowing right through this. It really depends on how big decks like Eternatus are and Pikachu are moving forward. Because, well, they're weak to fighting. So it really depends how good these fighting weak decks end up actually being. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's not great, right? You're a darkness Pokemon, so you're not hitting much for weakness and you're not really doing any damage anyway. So who cares? The thing is, this has an attack which... It's a game changer, all right? It's an actual game changer. For a single darkness energy, that's crucial. Search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon and put it onto this Pokemon to evolve it. So essentially, you go second, you get this in the active, you attach a single energy, and you get yourself a turn one wheezing. Or turn one Galarian wheezing. It is important to note that both wheezing and Galarian wheezing do evolve from coughing so you can flick between them what's really weird at the moment we legitimately have four different options all of which have abilities but the best option here is galarian wheezing and its ability neutralizing gas you see neutralizing gas says as long as this pokemon is in the active spot your opponent's pokemon in play have no abilities except for neutralizing gas and if you go second this can be absolutely over-the-top, ridiculous, cuckoo, bananas, nuts, brokenly awesome. Uh, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it's good. You see, it's ability lock. But crucially, you go second, your opponent has a single turn, but on that turn, they cannot attack and they have no supporters. So they can get rolling a little bit. They can play items and use abilities, but they can't do all that much. And then you get neutralizing gas up. Yep. And your opponent has no abilities for the game. Imagine a Frostmoth deck. If you go second against Frostmoth, you need to get a coughing in the active and an energy on it. And your opponent will be locked out of abilities for the entire game. And sure, your opponent can get you out the active, playing a boss's orders, their one supporter for the turn, playing a Fione. As long as you don't have a second Glarian Wheezing on the bench, of course. There's ways to make you switch your active. But finding them with no abilities, that, that's not going to be terribly easy. Things like Frostmoth and Rillaboom would be another great example. Are just not going to be able to cope with this. They will have to set up manually. And they will have to attach energy manually. And then, of course, if you really want to be funny, you can start playing stuff like Team Yo Grunt and Crushing Hammer. <laughs> Just getting rid of all their energy, which would be really annoying, but would totally work. And for decks like that that rely on Pokemon to accelerate energy, you're just going to grind those decks down to a halt. But then again, we, we've got more. Because we've got stuff like Dedene and Crobat and Eldegoss. And what do all these Pokemon have in common? What they have in common is they are Pokemon that use abilities in order to set up. Dedene, discard your hand, draw six cards. Crobat, draw until you've got six cards in your hand. Eldegoss, put a supporter card from your discard pile into your hand. None of this is going to work. They're not going to be able to use it. Imagine a deck like Eternatus, but... They're not able to use Crobat, which is mainly their draw engine here. Sure, maybe they draw their supporters and they've always got a supporter and they get lucky. 
But Eternatus is a deck that revolves around being able to use Crobat to draw cards. Be kind of funny if they couldn't use Crobat. We can keep going. Zashian's Intrepid Sword. Draw three cards. Your turn ends. If any of them are Metal Energy, attach them to Zashian. Yeah, can't do that anymore. Auron Guru, which swaps a card in your hand with a top card of your deck. Chinchino, discard a card from your hand to draw two cards. Basically, all the good non supporter ways we've got to draw are gone. And your opponent will still have supporter cards. They better draw into them. Because I remember back in the Heart Gold Soul Silver era where Pokemon draw was not good. And if you couldn't draw into supporters, you just lost a lot of the time. That's what happens here. Love it. I've not been a huge fan of Galarian wheezing up to now. And the answer is it's been a, just a little bit too slow. This makes a gigantic gigantic difference because either you go first your opponent has a single turn and then their ability locked for the game or your opponent goes first and they get one turn without supporter cards or attacks and then you ability lock them for the entire game the attack that poisons and puts four damage counters on instead of one kind of fun but then remember we have got Toxicroak as well, which each Toxicroak will add two damage counters. And the theory behind this kind of deck here is rather simple. Their ability locked. They're taking six, eight, ten poison between turns. That's after yours, after theirs, after yours, after theirs, etc. And they're struggling to set up while they're being poisoned. This will lead to some cheeky wins. So Galarian Weezing here was my first four and my preferred option. But the weird thing is we've actually got three regular Weezing as well. Though one of them doesn't really count. The Weezing from Cosmic Eclipse, I'm not particularly buying here. It's got the ability Blow Away Bomb. When you discard this Pokemon with the effect of Roxy, you put one damage counter on each of your opponent's Pokemon. And Roxy lets you discard two cards from your hand, draw it, or two Pokemon, drawing three for each Pokemon you discarded. So essentially, that Weezing is for Roxy decks. And you can still play a Roxy Draw Engine, that's fine, but that's the only reason you'd play that one. And to be fair, the one that came around in Hidden Fates has got Surrender now. Which only works if you discard it with the effect of Jesse and James. Which makes you, both players, discard two cards from their hand. And then if you discard, well, for every wheezing you discard, your opponent discards one more card from their hand. But again, you can be playing Jesse and James, but that's the only way you're playing this wheezing. But there is another wheezing that you can legitimately use here. It's the one from Unbroken Bonds, and it has Detention Gas. As long as this is your active Pokemon, put one damage counter on each of your opponent's basic Pokemon between turns. That is one after yours, one after theirs, one after yours, one after theirs, etc. And then for two energy, might I suggest twin energy here. You do 20 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon with damage on and 40 to the active. So you could play a little bit of a spreading deck here with a wheezing from Unbroken Bonds where you essentially just go nuts straight away and you're off and rolling. You know, go second, get this rolling. Your opponent can't have evolved their Pokemon because they've only had one turn. So you will put one damage on each of your opponent's Pokemon because you go second, you Ascension, Detention Gas kicks in and your opponent will take one damage on all of their Pokemon because they have to be basics because they can't have evolved because they've only had one turn. I like this, but I still don't feel like you're doing enough damage. For me... This coughing is here for Galarian Weezing, though it is really important to point out here, there's nothing to say we're not going to get more Weezing or Galarian Weezing in the future. And for as long as we have this coughing, you are going to be able to use any of those with this coughing and Ascension, and that is awesome. As far as I'm concerned, this is going to make Galarian Weezing into a legitimate deck. You're going to be able to just turn off their abilities and poison them, and then just kind of sit there laughing. And maybe you play around with some other special conditions. Maybe you use Yellhorn. Now, Yellhorn confuses both active Pokemon. But the theory here is, well, you've poisoned them. Once they're poisoned, you don't need to attack with Galarian Weezing again. So if you're confused as well, who really cares? Maybe you go for Energy Denial. But either way, this seems to open the door to Galarian Weezing being a genuine, legitimate deck. And that makes me genuinely, legitimately happy. Giving it a score, I'm giving it four Wossies. But when I say four Wossies, that's for the combination of Copping and Galarian Weezing. I do think together they're a, a four Wossie combo. But I'd like to know what you think. And there is a comment section. Gee whiz. 
be rather nice if you told me what you thought now, wouldn't it? Go nuts, be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio. <laughs>